Hello everyone, welcome to Fijian Investment Trader. My name is Mr. Singh. Let's go. Let's go talk about the recap of the entire week of OGCN, the news, uh, and very important technical analysis on the video. So the week, man, we were like around at six dollars and eighty-nine cents, and we were. I was on my previous video mentioned that we need to break out at the seven dollars and thirty-eight cents. We tested numerous times, couple of times we got rejected, but we were trading our below our 200 day moving average which is the pink line and we were testing our also the 60 day moving averages and we broke through we broke through acted as a support on the 624 and also act and throughout the day and then we went and tested the high of eight dollars and 57 cents came back we had the pullback all the way to seven dollars 86 cents and we finished the week off eight dollars and 35 cents the very important moving forward on monday uh, in the next throughout uh, Monday till all the way to Friday to test at eight dollars and seventy one cents as an important resistance level. Uh, let's talk about the news coming up. Uh, very important news, and please, guys, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, so you guys can be constantly be updated with OGCN. Folks, we have a OGCN reminder of stakeholders' urgent me annual meeting coming up, right? The meeting will be held on July 2nd at 11 a.m. Usually when they have an annual general meeting, we have an intent of a, the stock intends to move up, right? We just have to pay attention because usually it could be a pump and dump uh, throughout the time, right? And some news comes up without the company's progress So during the annual meeting. So this is we need to keep an eye. Annual meeting is coming up on July 2nd of 2021 around at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So stay tuned on that, folks. I'm gonna bring, also I'm gonna do a recap of the annual general meeting, what were the key information we discussed and everything on that. So let's talk about, uh, well, let's go back to year to date, a day, right? And as mentioned, these levels has acted throughout the, throughout the tough times during the $5, throughout the tough times at $5.95, and I constantly we mentioned that our 200 day moving average will act as a huge support, which it did. And I'm gonna move this as a move this as our resistance level, support level rather, and now we'll see where we're heading. So if I draw back some key important technical analysis over here, that we'll see where we're heading and also and also some kind of squeeze coming up right if you go back right up here and all the way right up right up here if I can start drawing it here you go okay so we need to keep an eye we'll see this triangular pattern to have a breakout very key important is that our 200 day moving line and the 60 day move we are trading below the 60 day moving average and our 200 day moving average we had the huge gap down remember folks we had a huge gap down all the way on 69 right and now we're filling this gap all the way up and i would be seeing some pullbacks and go test beyond this eight dollars and 71 cents all the way high to eleven dollars and 44 cents so right now it is a it's an uptrend. We are moving, we're creating higher highs. Our RSI is all showing of a bull pattern right now, bullish pattern, and has a lot of room. MACD has a crossover. Now we're seeing a momentum of a uptrend, right? Uh, still an uptrend right now. I will be more convinced when we cross over at $11.41. As based on the prediction of this price, I can see the stock over. The twenty dollars end of this year. It is all based on my on my uh, research and DD. I'm not a final advi uh, advisor or any sort of it, uh, but I can definitely see that because we have to have created one and two a uh, two double bottom, and now we are creating an uptrend all the way. So the key levels moving forward, we need to keep an eye. It's eight dollars seventy one cents, nine dollars and ninety seven cents, and eleven dollars and forty four cents, and then all the way through the $13 level, right? So overall, 
The chart looks great. The fundamental of the company looks great. We are all waiting for the FDA approval for Canada, so uh, for uh, US and also for Canada Health Center. So there are two areas they are looking to get the approval for from um, OGCN. Uh, right now they have a approval from World Health Organization, which is WHO, HWO. So once we have that, we'll see a, a massive uptrend um, and we will be pick up our volume, right? Our volume is um, around like on Friday, we had around a 46 volume, but our three month average volume is about 66 million, right? Which is a very high volume that I can see moving forward in order to push the stock all the way up high over 13 to 16 dollar level. Uh, but we have to have these kind of pullbacks a little bit in order to create high, right? We are creating this solid uptrend. Like we have went all the way from $5.96 all the way to $8.35. Um, and now we are trading below a 60-day moving average, which will act as a massive support at around $8.05, right? So that's that's all I have, folks. Uh, quick, short video just to you know, gauge it how we're going to do it throughout the week. Uh, I am very confident that we will be trading around $9, uh, roughly around $9, around or even over $9.50 by end of this week coming up. And we'll have some kind of some little bit of pullback to create higher highs. So I'll do a recap again and more videos as soon as the news comes up on the FDA approval. So stay tuned on that. Please don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button so you guys can be up to date on that. Thank you very much and have a great day.